and she is back with another random character design. How are you doing guys? I hope you had a wonderful week with lots of art and whatever you wanted to do and welcome back to another video. Um, I hope you guys are not getting too tired of my random character design. It is something I go back to when I'm tired or don't know what to draw. Uh, just designing something for nothing is quite relaxing to me so that's what I ended up with doing this week as well. Um, and as you can see the word or <laughs> the main theme of this guy is punk. and. It mainly came from looking at this. If you don't know, there is this artist um, Facebook group that's called Character Design Challenge, where every month they have a theme and you can assign something to it and they have a lot of cool presents and everything like that. I have been following them for like a year, so I thought, well, time to join for the second time in two years. <laughs> um, I do really enjoy watching all the characters coming through and I wanted to do something myself. Uh, but to spice things up, I didn't want to do something classic, modern, as you see a lot of other people do want to design a punk character so I thought well I'll do two random words on a random word generator and I'll think something up that will probably be something different and what I got was actually guts and um, <laughs> heritage and to me heritage like kind of clicked with two things uh, one that he's very very rich and two uh, Vikings uh, purely because I am Norwegian so I kind of resonate with Viking characters and you might be asking yourself why does this random character that is supposed to be a Viking look like something that's not a classic Viking with helmet and horns? Well, I will tell you. If you didn't know, actually the way that um, Vikings are portrayed in like films and movies is actually kind of skewed from what could actually be the truth. Uh, a lot of historians have actually speculated that Vikings actually dress in a lot more silks and jewelry just because they were trading and all over the world and of course plundering and raping as well but they were trading goods um, mostly and if you would think about it, if there were a rich Viking <laughs> traveling around trading they were of course like fancy all this jewelry, all this nice silk and patterns um, so what I thought was I'm gonna make this punk character dress up in something nice and gold, purple, blues, just to make him feel a little more rich and not the classical maniac <laughs> like, horned helmet uh, viking. Um, so as you can see he's quite different, he kind of reminds me of kind of like a character from like an Inca civilization, uh, but I was trying to make it viking but Let's just imagine that he's a viking that fancied someone else's culture and that's why he dresses him. Anyway, to make him more punk, of course, I went with a lot of dark colors and a little bit more purple and pink just because that's what I see in a lot of punk clothes. Um, I couldn't really do a lot of black just because I wanted to keep that purple blue kind of vibe to the character. Another thing that I want to touch upon that I think someone else has mentioned before and asked me about is that they said that they usually need to have a big backstory before they actually design a character and they were asking if I needed a big backstory to like actually make a new character and no I don't really need that I actually I have like an idea of who the character is when I start drawing and then I will kind of build up the character as I'm designing so I'll add certain bits and things that kind of make like will hint on that character's personality or history or if it's his rich or like poor and I kind of at the end of it I'll kind of have this whole backstory for the character so when you are designing try not to have too much of guidelines or rules before you actually start designing because you can actually come up with quite cool ideas uh, while you're drawing and designing um, as opposed to writing all of it. If you like to write, maybe that's better for you to start there and then design. Um, but it's a good idea to just like let loose and see what comes up and do some research while, while you're drawing and you'll find a lot of cool information that you can implement to your character. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is shape language. Uh, in this character I actually, in the sketch you can see I used a lot of round shapes but in the end I, want, was, um, I realized that I wanted more sharp shapes because he's kind of like a bad guy kind of thing. Um, and sharper objects are more 
uh, connected with like sharper people, characters, um, evil characters, I guess, past characters. Brown shapes are more like nice, rounded, kind, uh, and squares are more of like a steady, solid character. So try to think about that when you are designing, like how the shape kind of connects with who the character is as a whole. Uh, but that is it for this week guys, uh, another random character design, I hope you guys like him, he's kind of crazy, uh, and I kind of love that. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. If you like this video, you can like it if you like it, and if you haven't seen my videos before and like this kind of stuff where I design things and I draw things, then you can subscribe, I do videos every week, and I love to chat with you guys, so leave comments down below and I will always answer. But yeah, that is it for this week, guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.